There we go. It just takes some time, man. It's weird how it does that. Yeah, I don't understand it. I think you're good, though, man. So the name of this story is Ghost on the Fairway. Around 2008, we lived in a very old, small town, which had a local golf course running through the town. Nothing fancy, mind you. I usually visit a friend living across one of the fairways from my house. Sometimes these visits could drag on until quite late because of just hanging out and stuff like normal high school kids get up to. On these late nights, upon returning home, I would normally cut across the fairway on the fourth hole of the golf course to get home faster since it was quite late at night. These walks home at night were always the same until one time it wasn't. I was at my friend's house again one Friday night. We were really having a good time, so I was there until pretty late. Once I decided to get going, I decided to take the shortcut across the fairway. Normally, not really aware of my surroundings. It was a pretty safe town. I noticed something in the corner of my eye to the left. I froze solid while in the middle of taking a step and slowly looked over that way. Less than 40 feet from me, there was a silhouette of a man just staring at me. The moment I saw this, I knew it wasn't normal. After a quick second, which felt like an eternity to me, I snapped out of it and just started running home as fast as I could. Back at home, while still trying to put together what happened, I decided to keep what I saw to myself until I could make proper sense of it. Monday, we were back at school. I was sitting in class after it had ended. It was the third or fourth period when the intercom went off and they announced one of my female classmates needs to report to the front desk. Out of curiosity, I asked one of my friends why this girl was being called to the office. He said, Oh, it's for the funeral. I said, What funeral? He went on to say, Her grandfather had a heart attack and died playing on the golf course the other day. My heart pounded. You know where he died? I asked. And he said, he died on the fourth hole. I'm sure at this moment that I saw his ghost. But until now, I had never told another person. Well, so you get for trespassing, I guess, right? You got a lot of comments in the chat about trespassing. That's why I said that. Yeah, I know. You know, I thought that too when I was reading it. It's like, you're, you're, you're trespassing on private property. The other part of me, I'm like, man, I wish I lived next to a golf course. Yeah, people that live next to a golf course, typically if you live next to it or on it, I guess you are allowed on it. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, after hours, though, that might be an exception. Not after hours, he's definitely there well past close. Nevertheless, this guy's taking a shortcut through the golf course. To, where did he say he was going? He was going home for a friend's house that lived across the fairway. Lived out there in the yonder. He was going to cut through and saw a ghost. So he just saw like a figure of a man standing like really still off in the distance. Yeah, and what he said, it almost seemed like it was looking at him. So like you can sometimes tell when a shadow is kind of facing a certain direction. That's the way I gather from this. Is he saw like a shadow person or 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 spectral image of something looking in his direction. Spectral image. I like that. That's scary though. What it, it was it was by far really dark, right? Yes, it was at late at night, very late at night, he said, because he said he stayed later than normal, and he said he normally stayed late. Well, I've never wandered across a golf course at night. Yeah, I can't imagine a more creepy scenario as wandering across a golf course at night. Especially if he's like Florida where there's like alligators. Well, even like golf courses around here, I'm just like thinking, it's an unnatural setting, right? Because the golf course is a man-made lawn that is way too big right and we 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 do things to it to make it a sporting event but it's so huge a golf course is massive especially yeah. solid and so just thinking like i can imagine there's some amount of disruption to the natural law with a golf course yeah if there is something to natural energies in the way they're supposed to flow 
a golf course would disrupt that flow. It, it, in my opinion, like, you know, I'm not druidic or anything. I don't really believe in any of these things myself. But if there's any amount of truth to them, it would make sense that if someone was to die on a golf course, that there would be a disruption to the flow of their energy out of the area. And so I could see this happening if there's something to that. And that could be. I'm not an expert. So, yeah, this this whole, like, setting, in general, a golf course is kind of a unnatural setting because it's so, so man-made. It's true. I, see, I actually didn't look at it that way. I'm just, it's it's uh, actually storming here pretty bad in my town. And uh, as you're halfway through that story, this loud lightning thunder happened. It's pretty interesting. A guy around here the last couple of months had a heart attack on the golf course. Oh, really? Yeah, it must be like a, must be like a thing, you know? I did not know that. that. That's unfortunate. He didn't die. He didn't die. Well, he died, but they brought it, they revived him. Oh, well, I'm glad he's alive. I guess yeah. that would be very unfortunate. And, uh, poor timing on my part. Well, no, this is a while. This is actually probably six months ago. But oh, okay. Yeah, recently like, is in recent. I was thinking like this week. I'm like, oh, no, my no, 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 gosh. No, no, no. I think this is actually a common occurrence. Golf is a very, golf pisses me off when I golf. So I can see where somebody get worked up. You well, that, and it's usually played by older older people who, uh, not, not exclusively, obviously, but like a lot of older people play it. And if you miss a golf ball when you take that swing, it hurts, and I, I can feel that pain all through my body because I'm terrible. Me and you went golfing one time. I don't even remember that. How, 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 did, how did it go? You don't remember that? I, I, I've gone golfing quite a bit, so was this a bad time? I think I sh- shot 20 in the first hole. Oh, gosh. That's probably your per- first experience doing it. I mean, the pain when you go swinging hard, it's so bad when you you twist and you miss and you don't hit anything. Your all your forms all wrong. Yeah, I I need to hit up a driving range because my short game is not bad. My short game is okay. It comes to driving, I uh, I miss way more. Speaking of driving, I think it would have helped this guy if he could have drove. I think he was thinking you know he lives what across a fairway. It's probably like two hundred yards, three hundred yards at the most. <laughs> It makes sense to just walk. Yeah. You could really break it down by yards when you're on a golf course, huh? Feet, yards, uh, you should know that. You're, you're, you're going across, right? They're not that wide, usually. You think you ever cut across the golf course again? Probably not. I wouldn't. <laughs> Make you think twice, wouldn't it? Yeah, I would walk around the old dang course. He said he never told this person about seeing the, the, their uh, relative. Yeah, and then he made it seem like he hadn't told anybody in a few years judging by the way this was set up. Like, what would you say? Like, I saw your dead grandpa. Like, no one would believe you. I, I wouldn't say that to anyone anyway. Yeah. Because, like, that's an immensely upsetting thing to say to someone. So I can understand him, you know, keep it quiet. So you're thinking he played it pretty cool? I just would just take that secret to my grave. Well, there you go. <laughs> what is it? Pretty Little Liars? I think Benjamin Franklin said it in Pretty Little Liars. He said, two can see, keep a secret if one of them is dead. Just between him and that ghost. That is the first time I ever heard that. I'm pretty sure that's a... We have people listening live. Tell me if that's a Benjamin Franklin quote. If you're listening out there, moderator, please let me know if I'm correct. Anyways, this is a pretty cool story. So when this releases, it'll be around the time of the Masters, probably when it comes out post live stream. This ought to be interesting, man. Like if the Masters yeah. is going on and it makes you wonder how many people out there, and I'm sure there's plenty of stories, but... How many people have had this like ghost experience, you know, on the in the golf world? Okay, okay. It's actually quoted as three can keep a secret if two of them are dead. Basically the same thing. Yeah, same concept, right? And that is Benjamin Franklin, right? I had never heard that before. Benjamin Franklin, yep. Boom, baby. Man, look, how's that for America stories, right? I never heard that before. That's awesome. I'm teaching you some things here tonight, brother. With that being <laughs> said, I think it's time for my story. Yes, it is. Jeff Townsend Media. CG, good night. And the question is, do I stay here? Will you be back? Are you going to come back? Will you be back? Are you coming back?